Hello learners, hope you are keeping well. Uh, today we're actually going to look at geomorphology again, our grade 11 section, and we're going to look at the overview of South Africa's topography. We're not going to go into major detail because the curriculum does not allow, uh, want us to do that rather, uh, but we're going to pick on the important facts that you need to know to prepare you for your exams. So let's get going. Okay, now let me move my face on one side. All right. Uh, it's very important. I know you will read material. It just says, or material maybe says, oh, this is the coastal plain, or, or this is the Karoo, where it's situated. But I do believe that you need to have an idea of what these landforms or features are before we describe the topography. So I'm gonna go through the uh, different things that I will be going through, the different landforms, the different topography uh, that we will be using uh, to explain our trip across South Africa regarding the topography itself. So when we get to discussing it, we just go easily through because we've covered the explanations already. So let's look at a coastal plain first. Ah, there goes my highlighter again. Okay, a coastal plain, an area of flat, low-lying land. All right, it's adjacent to the sea coast. Okay, so it's right at the bottom as we're nearing the coast, or right at the coast, okay, before we hit the sea, we find this flat area. It's low line because it's right at the bottom. So it's right there at sea level. Okay, so that is your coast. And if you look at these areas, all right, this is along the east coast, around Durban, you can see the flat nature of the land. And it's low because it's right next to the ocean. So as in the Cape on the west coast, you can see also you have this flat land. As you're going in there, you can notice the mountains at the back. Okay, so it's flat land. Right, let's look at another concept. A plateau. We have the Great South African Plateau here. All right, the big plateau. All right. It's an extensive land area, huge, covering thousands of square kilometers. <clears throat> in fact, the whole of Gauteng, etc., is on this plateau in South Africa. Okay. Having relatively level surface, all right? It's level, you can see it down here. It's fairly level. Of course, there will be little hills and whatever, but generally, it's having a relatively level area. Those living in Gauteng, you will notice that, all right? The surface raised sharply above the adjacent land, all right? If you looked at a plateau, you would see this. It's raised, all right? The flat surface on the top. Mine is not so flat, but it's a piece of raised land. Let's make it a bit flatter, all right? Okay, that's your plateau here. Okay, that's your plateau, right? It's raised land. So we got an idea. This is part of a plateau because you can't see a picture of a whole plateau. It's huge, all right? And you can see the flat nature of the land. All right, let's go on and look at the next concept, the great escarpment specific to South Africa. All right, we get escarpments, but I'm talking about the great escarpment specific to South Africa that we're going to use when we're going to discuss the topography, all right? It consists of steep slopes, all right? From the high central South African plateau downward in the direction of the oceans that surround Southern Africa on three sides. You know that Southern Africa has ocean on three sides. If I draw Southern Africa, no, 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 it's terrible. You got the ocean here, you got the ocean there, and you got the ocean there. All right. So we have the plateau, 
And then on the sides of the plateau, you've got this great escarpment, the Drakensberg, etc. All right, on the east, as and it heads and it comes down, heading as if it's going towards the coast. There's the coast that side. All right, if you go further, okay. Now there's some nice pictures here, okay, of this rugged terrain with steep slopes. You can see it here. All right, again here. Yeah, this is all the Drakensberg. Can you see here? All right, it's a lot of slopes. Okay, coming from the plateau. Okay, on that side, it's coming down. You see all these huge slopes. All right, steep slopes. That's your great escarpment. All right. Then the Karoo is a semi-desert natural region. It's natural again, all right? And it's when you talk semi-desert, semi-arid, you can see here the east scattered vegetation, not lush vegetation. On the other hand, it's not that there's no vegetation, all right? That's your Karoo. If there was no vegetation, then it won't be a semi-desert. It will be a desert. All right, and here, learners, I'm going to move my face up. You can see we have these karoos, which fairly gentle also, flat, in between mountains. All right, uh, these are your four mountains. I'll talk about them later, but you'll find the karoo found in those areas like that. You've got a little karoo and a great karoo, a larger one. Okay, uh, but those are your areas. You can see we're using the Cape region as an example because the bulk of it is there. All right, let's go on and look at another concept, which we're also going to use. All right, I'm dancing around this whole thing. Okay, and that is a fold mountain. All right, they are created where two or more of the Earth's tectonic plates, you know the Earth has different tectonic plates in Great Ten, you learn that, and they are pushed together. These colliding and compressing boundaries, they collide, they knock against each other. Rocks and debris are now warped or folded into rock outcrops. There we have it here. All right, and suddenly there's compression on the rock and compression on the rock. And what happens to the rock? It starts to fold, all right? And that's how we get our fold mountains. Not a very nice diagram, but you know what happens when you push anything, you push paper together, it starts to get folds, okay? So there's a good example of the fold mountains. Right, you can see the folds. Some of it, of course, is water erosion that comes through, but they have folded. And as they have folded, you understand, sometimes you actually see it on the sides. As they fold, then they pick up, okay? Because if I have a piece of paper that's straight, and then I push and I push, I'm trying to cover up for that bad diagram. What happens to it? It starts to fold. Okay, that's your fold mountain. And they happen in belts, a whole range, like a mountain range that happens along the way. Okay, then we have the Kalahari Depression. And this is a large lowland area, all right? Covering, it's huge also, all right? 2.5 million kilometers squared. It's huge. It covers a few countries, all right? As you can see in this sketch, all right? It's huge, okay? This is just a section of the Kalahari Basin, which is known as the Kalahari Depression, okay? Let's go on. Now, when we look at the overview, by the way, South Africa has approximately, in terms of area, 1,220,813 square kilometers. That's the area. It's huge, eh? Here you can see the flat surface. And then as we go here, we come towards the escarpment and then we have a flat area here. All right, we can just visualize. I will go through this with a label diagram now. Okay, can you see the same here? All right, but here seems steeper than here. 
and then we go down the escarpment and there's a flat area here all right just just in a nutshell now let us look at this in more detail in terms of the topography all right we look at it here there's our huge plateau covering this whole area here all right huge area here all right uh, and then we have the kalahari de depression or kalahari basin all right then around here we have the great Karoo, and we have the Cape Fold Mountains. Can you see it? All right. And we have the little Karoo, the Cape Fold Mountain belts right through this area. And then we have the little Karoo in between. And you notice there's the Great Escarpment. Can you see it? Going along South Africa there or in South Africa. All right. Around the plateau. Okay. Around the plateau. Can see how huge the plateau is, covering to almost two thirds of South Africa. All right, so then we have that, and then of course we have the coastal plains, the flat area in there. So that's our general build in terms of uh, South Africa, in terms of our regions, our topography rather. Uh, when we look at it, <clears throat> okay. So let us then just do a little trip. Right. Oh, before I go on my trip, you can see the Great Karoo, the area it covers. All right. And all these areas have the foam, uh, foam mountain belts. Okay. Can you see it? And in between them is the little Karoo. Okay. So we have these two there. Just to get clarification of where those are. Okay. Let's go on. Now, let's take a trip. We'll take a trip from the west to the east. We now went through all the concepts. We know them. All right. And if you forget, we can always refer to them uh, when you watch the video again or you look at notes, etc. Okay. So let's look at it. We're starting from the, the on the 30 degrees from Port Nollet around there towards Durban down here. And let's see the topography of this area. All right, so we're looking at it from west to east along the 30 degree line of latitude. So when we look at the sketch, all right, it covers approximately 1,500 kilometers from west to east. Okay, approximately some interesting facts like the area of the of South Africa, which does not fully tell you uh, related to just the topography, but it's nice to know how big our country is, All right? So on the west, we have a coastal plain. Remember we did our explanations? The flat land, all right? There's our coastal plain there, okay? Followed by a mountainous ridge called the Great Escarpment. Can you see down here? The escarpment is in that area, which forms a boundary between the plateau and the coastal region. Can you see? Coastal region here, yeah? escarpment in this area. So it's like a boundary between the coastal region and the plateau. Next, we have the plateau, this huge, which occupies two thirds of South Africa. All right? Two thirds of South Africa. It's huge. Okay. The highest point of the plateau is found on the east, on this side where the Drakensberg is. That's the highest point, all right? The Drakensberg mountain range. And the lowest point is found on the west in the Kalahari Depression. Let us notice we're using these words now. We're using these words. But it was very important for us to understand that first. We have to have that knowledge first before we start talking about this. So please remember that. Very, very important. Otherwise, you don't know what you're learning, all right, if you don't know the concepts. Okay, so we went through the plateau. And of course, when we come here, we come back to the Great Escarpment on the east now. Can you see it there? On the east. And eventually, we end with the coastal plain on the east and there's our coastal plain near Durban. Can you see it? Near Durban. 
and there's Port Nolet there. They're both on the Tetley degree. And this generally discusses the topography from the west to the east. We just took it on one line of 30 degrees. Okay, so you get an idea of the topography. But please note, you'll be maybe asked, okay, about the great escarpment or that, and you know the explanations. Now you can visualize it better in your heads. Okay, now let's go on. Let's look at it from south to north. All right, from south to north now. And we're gonna do a little cross section of that. Okay, so let's look at that. All right, it stretches approximately a thousand kilometers from south to north. Okay, some interesting facts. Okay, first we have the Cape Fold mountain belts around this area, can you see it? That's the belts, that's all the belts there. Okay, in between these fold mountain belts, we have the little Karoo. So found in between the terrain, the little Karoo is found there. Can you see it now? We're using little Karoo. You know what's a Karoo already. All right, you know it's small, uh, small as we call little, and the other one is big, it's called great. Okay, but you know what's a Karoo now. Can you see the importance? Okay, so further north, we have the Great Karoo as we're moving from south to north. We see now we have the Great Karoo, all right? It is found between the northern section of the fold mountain belts. You can see the northern section because that's north. So that's the northern section, all right? and the Great Escarpment. So it's in between, there's a Great Escarpment coming through here now. Can you see it's coming through here? So we have it in between the Northern section of the Fold Mountain Belts and the Great Escarpment coming in down there. Okay, of course, we then have the Great Escarpment next. When we're moving on our journey from South to North, we have the Great Escarpment coming through next, all right? And then, of course, the next thing we have is the plateau. The plateau down here. All right. Okay, it took a bit of a jump of a plateau. And eventually, as we move through, we then just have the Kalahari Depression right at the end. Okay, as we go down, we have the Kalahari Depression. Okay. And that gives us an idea of the topography of South Africa. We looked at it both ways. Yeah, it was the 23 degree line, by the way, of the longitude line, 20 degree, 23 degree cutting from, or we made it from south to north. Okay, it gives you an idea. So with regards to this lesson learners, what you have to basically know is, is your features, okay? Uh, or the, Topography in terms of landscape, what you find in the plateau, Karoo, whatever. And then you know how it looks when you move from west to east. All right. We did it along the 30 degree line. That's fine. And then we looked at how it looks from south to north, from the 23 degree line. And that's fine. And you must be able to describe those things and then relate them as you move through. Okay, that means your different things like what is your uh, Karoo, what is your plateau, and then related to your movement. Well, it was a journey. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Goodbye, learners. All the best.